Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Elden Ring. Last time we left off, we were here at the Table of Lost Grace. And having trouble remembering why. I think I just came here to talk to people. We saw Sorceress Selen last time, we did the Weeping Everjail, we did the Tombsward Ruins. So I think everything on the Weeping Peninsula is taken care of now. Sans this. So we are going to have to go take care of this now. The... Elephant on the continent, if you will. <clears throat> Alright, Castle Morn. There's a character I can think of from something whose name was Morn that I find myself thinking of, but I can't quite remember who it was. Was it a character in Dark Souls 3? Oh, hello. It's one of you. Yeah. I remember someone mentioning that you, you idiots just are out at night. Uh-huh. You're just the enemy that's out at night, instead of the knights. Okay, got a little attack in there. I think I should be able to kill you. Uh-huh. Ow, you actually got me. Let's heal up. Cool. Okay, okay. Get out of there, Torrent. Yeah, your weapon is a little bit more suited to this than mine. You go on your left side. Aha! Didn't expect that, did ya? Uh-huh. Just gonna keep going on your your not dominant side. Don't you just summon a new horse if I manage to kill it? So I do have to actually stab the rider here. I'm gonna heal up just for safety's sake. You're already halfway done. Oh my god. Your range. Die, fool. Dead. Yeah, there we go. Killing the horse is actually useful. Okay, 3400 uh, runes and Ash of War Barricade Shield. And the Knight Rider Flail. Ooh, okay, those both seem pretty cool. <clears throat> Let's hop off a of Torrent really quickly. And see what both of those are like. So, the Knight Rider... Or no, let's do this first. Barricade Shield, usable on all shields. It's, uh, no affinity, but, uh, he's a following skill. Barricade shield. Shield made famous by Sir Neidhart. Focuses your energy, energy into the shield, temporarily hardening it to deflect greater blows. Well, that seems useful. More useful than parry, at the very least, because I'm not really using parry. Hmm. Yeah, that seems quite good, actually. Maybe we should put that on, because I'm, I'm not parrying anything. <clears throat> Maybe I'll change my mind about that later. But for right now, I'm not I'm not parrying shit, so... Yeah, how about we put that on the old shield? This is the first one for shields, specifically, that we've gotten. Uh, yeah, standard. I don't care. I just want the ability to use our thingy. So... Alright, now it just blocks better. Is this basically like a magic shield? It increases the stability? Oh. Does it only last for a few seconds? What? Really? It only lasts for a few seconds. Huh. Well, I mean, it's still useful, I suppose. Better than my parry. I wasn't using the parry as we've been over. Hmm. I don't know, it at least gives me another cheap thing to utilize my FP for, I suppose. Since I'm not really using magic that much anymore. Sands to enchant my weapon occasionally. Alright, we need to get over there. I do wonder, can I... I... I can probably go up here and drop down onto that higher area, right? Don't mind me, friend. Just doing... just doing Elden Ring things, exploring the environment and such. Whoa, can you... I think that's a jump you can make, and I think that's how you're supposed to get up there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think that's how you're supposed to get up there, because there was a uh, one of the, like, purple rarity items, for lack of a better term. Yeah. Great turtle shell! I've seen, an, a, like, phantom walking around with that. Oh, yeah, and I didn't, um, warming stone as well. Okay, we got a few things to check out. I didn't check out the uh, weapon, either. Use FP to continuously heal nearby allies. Interesting. So it's like, uh, Undead Rapport, I believe it was called. Um, alright. 
weapons. Let's get over there. Melee armaments. So, yeah, we had the big flail that we just got from you. Probably causes a... Or requires a... No, it doesn't require a lot of... Interesting. It is just straight up better than the regular flail. It is a dex weapon. A flail with two additional bludgeoning heads. Weapon of the Knight's Cavalry who ride funeral steeds. The large spikes make it highly effective at inducing blood loss, but also demand higher dexterity to wield. Yeah. So you might be better than that one. I do still have the sacred enchantment on that. So it's a bit hard to tell at the moment. Let's uh, throw you on, see what we think. Oh well, yeah, I also never went over that morning star that I got. Okay, so... Yeah, you're about what I expect. And that's the big charge attack. Yeah, you're, you're just not fast enough for me, I think. You're just a bit too slow for me to feel like you're a reliable option. Great hammer comprised of a globe attached to a handle. Though a bludgeon dealing strike damage... Uh, Though a bludgeon dealing strike damage, the appellate of stars covered in spikes was called just blood loss. Ironic given its graceful name, this weapon often reeks of blood. Yeah, well that's a quality weapon, it seems. Would be, would be best to build that towards? I guess you could build it towards dex or strength, but it wouldn't be super great if you did. And how fast do you swing? Yeah, you're a little bit faster. Oh, you have a stab at the end. I wish you had a stab always. Yeah, you have like a stab at the end of this combo. Huh. Okay, well, you're a cute option as well, I suppose. But uh, we're gonna go back to the weapon I hate <clears throat> for now. Once I get, uh, I think it's one more level up, I think we're good. And I can ditch that thing for good. Alright, so... Can I just, uh... Yeah, it looks like I can just jump off right here. So I can't use this to get to the other side, I don't believe. Yeah, that looks like too big of a drop for Torrent. Yeah, so it looks like I have to run around if I want to get up there. Okay. Oh yeah, and the turtle shell. Shit. I got distracted by other things. Um, Turtle shell, and that was the only other thing I got, right? I think so. Uh, oh wow, and this just comes with barricade shield passively. Shield fashioned from a great turtle shell. The natural curve helps it contend with foes' attacks. The turtle is a symbol of tirelessness, and the shield boosts stamina, recovery, speed. You are the Grass Crest Shield. Oh my god. The Grass Crest Shield, here it is. It's, it's a dog shield now. Well, if only your uh, damage negation was a little bit better. Usually if people use... You know, the Grass Crest Shield, which, for those unfamiliar, it's a shield that does basically that in Dark Souls 1. And is generally heralded as, like, the best shield in the game. Uh, usually what people do with that is they just two-hand their weapon. And then just have it on their back, because you still get the buff if you do that. So if I ever decide that I want to, um, <clears throat> just two-hand my weapon for a boss, or just move to two-handing my weapon always, that is a very, very good shield to just have sitting on my back. Cool. Well, we found that. So let's get uh, over here, why don't we? We gotta start making some progress, so let's run. We're gonna get riddled with arrows soon. This reminds me of the giant in uh, Dark Souls 3. Hello. You need to die. What? What? Oh. It teleports? How did I miss? Come here, you. There we go. Jeez. Poison mist. That appears to be an incantation, which is weird. Doesn't seem very faithy to me, but uh, we'll see once we get up here. Uh, if I remember correctly, the poison and acid things have always had a weird... Like, they don't know where to put them, basically. Because before, they were pyromancies, which I always thought was weird as well. I had to adjust my headset there. Uh, <clears throat> before, they were pyromancies, which was always odd, I felt. Hello. 
So, were you guarding anything up here, or were you just chilling to chill? Okay, I killed you for no reason. Good to know I'm a horrible, horrible person. Sorry, bear. Okay, so... Let's, uh... Oh, I'm still technically in combat. Sorry. Can't look at that, uh, new thing that I got. I'm guessing it's because the archer sees me, even though they can't hit me. What are you doing? Hey, quit that. I think I heard something else appear near. No? Okay, we're good. Smithing stone one. Yep, okay, you're shooting me again. Well, I can't... Well, I can't open my map, but I can't open this. I wanted to open my map, but we can still look at that item. Alright, yep, it is a uh, incantation. This is Poison Mist. Incantation of the Servants of Rot. Releases a poisonous mist before the caster. This incantation can be cast while in motion. Those who dwell within poison know rot all too well. The death that begets life that comes to all equally. That is to say, it is the cycle of rebirth put into practice. Dumb. I don't want to experience the cycle of rebirth in the form of being poisoned to death and slowly dying. <clears throat> Sounds like a pretty awful way to go, if you ask me. Yeah, not being able to open my map at all here is kind of frustrating, considering I can get into, you know, safe spots. There are a few locations I can hit up that I would deem safe. Okay, I didn't know you were going to follow me all the way over here, jeez. I'm trying to look to see if there was, like, an opening on the side of the cliff here or anything. You guys got, like, a poison moat? Weird. Okay. What was that back there? I don't think it was anything. Sorry, I'm trying to be safe here. Ooh! Red jellyfish! Are you actually firing? Are you, like, moving? I'm kind of afraid that you're firing on me. Still can't open my map. Okay, you're shooting at something. I think there's something fighting outside your gates. Okay, well, I'm going down to the ocean first. Yeah, 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 you're fighting something over there. What is that? Oh no, you're the one shooting! Oh. What are you hitting? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, if you're the one, I can take care of you really quickly. I don't know what you're already damaged by. Okay, you missed. Good shit, good shit. Pokey pokey! Yeah, and they're stupid and just try to shoot the ground below them. That's not gonna work, friend. You're better off stomping. You do realize how big you are, right? I guess not. Golem grape, though. Okay, so yeah, you're the golems. Oh, and there's the, there's the giant sword graveyard again. Still can't open my map, weirdly. Whatever. Let's continue this way. N Aha, there we go. Okay, so, yeah, we went there. There wasn't really anything there. I think I can safely explore all around here now. So, yeah, let's uh, check out this place. What's the deal with the red jellyfish? Huh? Are we friend? Uh, no, we are not. We are not friend. Okay, we'll die, you must, then. Ow. Sorry. You asked for this. I was just gonna be chill and not kill you like I have the other jellyfish, but... Somber smithing stone, and don't walk off the edge. Arteria leaf. Cool. Well, then. And it looks like uh, it does drop off right there, so there's nothing that I can, like, walk around the side to get. Okay. Well... Yeah, like I said, I can just kind of explore at my leisure now. Fire material. So what's this one say? The Siege of Castle Morn. A lone hero fights for his vengeance, only to fall at the hand of Lord Godfrey. Huh. So you got beat up by Godfrey. Oh, wait, no. Godric is what I'm thinking of. Godfrey is the badass, right? <laughs> Shit. Sorry, it's been so long since I've seen that cutscene. I feel like I need to rewatch it every episode if I'm going to keep all the names straight. Godfrey. Yeah, I believe Godfrey was like the Gwyn stand-in? 
Because Godric was like the, the baby brother that was overshadowed or whatever, right? I, I hope I'm not getting it mixed up with some other things that I'm playing. Thought I heard a jingle. Ooh, look at that stuff over there. Well, I can't access it from over here. There's a Trina's Lily. Alright. So we ran along the backside. Round the outside, round the outside. And now we gotta go over here. This is one entrance. This is the front entrance. Is there another one that I can go through, possibly? I also want to check the ocean down here. Just to make sure I'm not missing anything. I did see that there was some stuff over here. So I likely do want to check this out. Was this the... Ooh, do you have to get to it from the back of the... Huh. You might have to get to it, through, uh, to it from up there. There's like an island you can get to. I saw a jellyfish hanging out there, so I know it's a place we can go. Hmm. Odd. Hello, puppy. I just wanted the golden rune. Uh, sure, I'll kill you. Um, this is not even worth it. Why am I even bothering? <laughs> Doggies chasing me and everything. It's not worth it. Alright, so... Up here now... We're looping back around to where I've seen everything, mostly. So I just want to check out this last little bit and then we'll go into the castle, I think. Sounds like a good plan to me. So keep going. Up, up, up. Yeah. Okay, there's not much going on here. That was a boar, I believe. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's much happening up here. This is just the other side of uh, that zone over there. And that one had interesting stuff. We might be able to get into this tower right here, actually. Yeah, I think we can. I think we can, like, get on the wall here. Possibly get into the tower. Maybe, just maybe. Or not. Hmm. You can make that jump, can't you, Torrent? Yeah, yeah, you can make that jump. Who's a good Torrent? Alright, and... Yeah, I actually don't think we can, uh, get into either of these towers, though. We can get up here, but I don't think we can get into them. Yeah, would be nice. But I don't see a way to do it. Because that one over there, the only reason we made it to that one is because of the spirit jump close by. But I don't think there's a spirit jump over here. Okay, what is that? Oh! Seed! That was why we came over here. Yeah, I was about to say I'm not done exploring yet. There is still a little bit to look at. And uh, I'm glad I said that because seed. Uh-huh. Cool. Well, would have been embarrassing to miss that. Gimme, gimme. That is, uh, how many I have now? Oops, not there. Uh, you're in key items. Yeah. Or upgrade materials. So I have two. I need one more, and I can have an extra flask. Stabby. I missed. Alright, I'd really like to get this next level up, so that I can switch to my Naginata. It just seems cool, and... I'm always like this in uh, Souls games, any from Souls game really, except for Sekiro, I suppose. I like to switch up my weapons constantly, just to add a fresh feel to the game. Probably makes some bosses harder because I'm not using weapons that I'm used to, but uh, I don't know. It's it's fun. All right, we're hanging out here. Uh huh. We got like a little guard room here. What is this? Oh, this is like a... Yeah, the room they keep their weapons and stuff. An armory of sorts. There's those little flame cannons that we that were used against us. Alright, this is probably my second main area, right? Well, if we, if we uh, consider Stormvale Castle one of the main areas, this is probably an, a follow-up. Another one. So... Well, why don't we go ahead and pop one of these? 
And, uh, yeah. I assume we're going to be fighting a lot of enemies here. I don't assume they're going to be too terribly difficult, seeing as we're pretty highly leveled for this area. I could have just missed a secret entrance, and I wouldn't have known. Okay, so we just go right up to the top. Okay, yeah, I was about to say, there are going to be enemies to fight here, yes? And the answer is yes, there are. Okay, they're singing and stuff over there. Hi, puppy. Die. Nope. Die. Die. Stupid dogs. I saw a meme recently that was like, veterans, uh, uh, casual Souls games players, when they see a dog, they're like, oh, it's a dog, this is gonna be easy. It's like, veteran Souls game players, when they see a dog, oh my god, it's a dog. <laughs> they're so annoying to fight. What is happening in there? Weird. Yeah, you're fighting, like, directly on the other side of this wall. Hey, you. Okay. I'm trying not to aggro all of these idiots in the middle. But ah, Damn it. Lock on. Lock on. I pressed the button, like, three times, and it was like, nope, there's no dog in front of you. What are you talking about? Okay, so... I gotta start taking out some of you doofuses. Can I just sneak up on you? And stab you in the butt? Maybe you guys would have been content to just chill. Okay. Please lock onto the enemy I care about. There we go, you're dead. Uh-huh. You're- okay, more puppy. Come here. Luckily, having a weapon where I can just hold up my shield and stab. Very, very useful for dealing with puppies. And a lot of things, honestly. Okay, you did a roar. Stab. Okay, you guys are not worth a lot, but I kind of want to get up here to the top of this mound to see if there's anything interesting. Uh-huh. Excuse me? You're just rolling at me. Stab, stab, stab. Taken care of. Sorted you out. Uh-huh. Okay, let's make use of our uh, new ability here. Bounce off. Yeah. Okay, that seems pretty useful. Got a backstab there. It made you specifically, like, think off my shield, which is nice. Okay. That might come up in some circumstances. We still have the increased, uh, runes buff. Luckily, there's someone kind of spooky chilling over there. Hello. Die. Okay, our increased runes buff wore off. Whatever. These guys weren't giving a lot anyway. If only I could find the ring that does it. Iron Cleaver. Uh-huh. Up here, Fire Grease. Acquire Materials. Oh, there's a bunch of butterflies. Yeah, that makes sense. Butterflies all over the place here, honestly. Alright, let's check out that new weapon, the Iron Cleaver. Really like the Cleaver weapons, I've used them in quite a few of the games, we already have one. Fairly large, commonly used by the maltreated, yeah I think we've read that. Steeped in resentment, these weapons are swung widely and relentlessly, often after rushing up to foes. Uh, in Dark Souls 3, for example, I used the Cleaver a lot. Same for uh, Dark Souls 2. Okay, this does seem to be a path with stuff. Leads in here. Is this, uh, progress, potentially? Maybe. A claymore! This is where it is! Everyone's favorite DS1 weapon. Uh, claymore. Large sword with a long straight blade. This heavy sword is usually wielded with two hands, but for those with enough strength, one is sufficient. In addition to the heavy sweeping attacks, it can also make a heavy piercing thrust, making this a versatile weapon, and probably the favorite weapon of everyone across multiple games I would say this is generally the most this is usually the most popular one lion's claw skill of the red mains who fought alongside general radon somersault forward striking foes with armament okay general radon that is a name I have heard a lot of in like memes and stuff because you're gonna be exposed to some of this or just people talking about it in general um, so yeah not excited for 
that whenever that's a thing. Oh, that's where the fighting is happening. Okay. I see. Another iron cleaver. I'll be able to open my own iron cleaver shop soon. Okay, so what's the deal with you? Hello. Are you... Oh, that's just fighting up there. What is, uh... Happening with you? Oh, it's a pumpkin head. Okay, well, that was not so bad. Oh, I could have kept swinging. Are you good? Huh. You were just standing there. Did I just kill a- did I just kill a friend? Oh no, did I just kill a friend? I don't even think I got runes for you, did I? No, please tell me I didn't kill a friend. Friends usually have more HP than that, right? Your back was turned, so I thought you were an enemy. I hope you weren't friend. Hello. Bye-bye. So what was back here? I'm going to assume you weren't, friend, to make me feel better about my decisions. God, this area seems massive, just like the last one. It didn't look like I got runes for killing you, though. Which really makes me raise my, uh, eyebrow. Hmm. You were just kind of sitting there forlornly, and when I attacked you a bunch, you got up and just kind of stood there, but I took that as your AI breaking. Not, um... You being a friend. You also didn't say anything when I attacked you, but some of them don't? I don't know. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake. But I'm absolutely open to the idea that I could have. You can't really afford to greet everyone with a happy face in this game. Or any of these games. Uh-huh. How are you gonna do that? I mean, they were kind of an asshole, too. I was probably going to kill all three of you, but uh, that was still rude. Okay. Nothing to drop to down there. There's... Here's to be nothing to really do around here. Let's just climb up. So this gets us on to more of the walls. It seems like this is mostly where all the stuff is happening. This reminds me of the giant's memories. Yep, there's just a bunch of fighting between the people that have turned and the people that have not. Hello. I'm on no one's side. I'm against everyone. Hello. Yep, there's stuff back there. Hey, big guy. There we are. Uh-huh. <laughs> just getting all the backstabs. Well, I'm going to take out the one with the shield, because you're just generally more annoying than these guys are. There we go. Lord Sworn's Bolt, Furl Calling Finger Remedy. If I ever needed to, I could definitely um, put my sign down to help people with bosses. It'd be a good way for me to kind of get um, uh, soul uh, runes and um, also rune arcs if I ever feel the need to use them. For a particularly hard boss or anything, but I'd have to be very confident before I'd start using them. They're too rare. Um, I got an old fang. We have a lot of those. Okay, so yeah, I was hoping this was the optional path since it was, I don't know, kind of more hidden. I'm glad that was the case here. How dare you. Okay, the other one did notice me, but they didn't come to help their friend fast enough. Wow, you just really opened yourself up to an easy backstab. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. Steel wire torch. Also, this window leads to nothing. Just a wall. Steel wire torch. It says that's an important item. I wonder why? Um, steel wire torch. Where is it? It is in here, right? Um, no? Uh, where is it then? Is it key item? Uh, no, I don't see it here either. Where is this thing? I should have paid more attention to where it actually, uh, showed up. Is that it? No, that's just the torch pole. Uh... 
Am I just being dumb? Oh, here it is. It's, oh, it's in shields. Weird. Weird. Okay, steel wire torch. Torch wound with metal wire. The flame can accumulate, can illuminate dark locales or be used to attack enemies. Heavier than a normal to torch, but the heated filament boosts fire damage dealt. Blow into torch flame, spreading flames in a wide frontward arc. The flames on the ground will continue to burn for a short time. Boosts fire damage dealt just if you're holding it, eh? <clears throat> That's a uh, pyromancy thing for sure. Okay, so... There's still this. Hopefully it's a dead end, so I can go back to that other, other area over there and follow up. I'm thinking this looks like a dead end. Oh, I can also use it to just drop down there. Uh huh. Yeah, here's some doofuses down there. So I can drop right here. Do I want to though? Kind of interested in seeing what that other path is that I could have taken. Let's see if I can point out where it is on the map, or just by looking from up here. So yeah, it was over there, which, okay, yeah, it means if that's the other end over there, that's where Pumpkinhead is. So the ladder to get up is right there. Okay, so this gets me to the same location. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything. Okay, cool. Oh, hi, you saw me? Right out of the air, friend. Stop walking into my sword. Stop hitting yourself. There we go. Yeah, down there. Yep. There's my uh, path of destruction. A lot of uh, hanged bodies here. Yeah, I can see a kind of revolt happened from the people that were infected, I guess. And the people still, you know, human. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I see you guys. Wow, you're shooting your feathers at me? Okay, so you're like the fully evolved versions, I guess. Uh-huh. Get me in here. Ah, uh, don't back up. Annoying. There we go. Okay. So, hi. You're flying enemies. Okay, you're not shooting your feathers at me. You do actually have a bow. Oh, God. Okay, none of that, please. None of that, please. That was not ideal. Um, is there a better way to, like, knock you out of the sky or something? I'm gonna go for you first. Damn it. Okay, yeah, you fall if you do that attack. Okay. That's a good way to get you out. You're, like, really awful-looking cupids, basically. Flying around with your little bow, except you're horrible. People saying actually in uh, the various mythologies uh, cupids are kind of shown as like a little cherub, but they are actually horrible <laughs> I feel like that happens with mythology a lot. It's like this thing that media has popularized as being like cute or beautiful If you look at the actual mythos behind it, it's like oh no these things are horrible Kind of like angels Specifically like Christian angels. They're supposed to be this like I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like an eldritch entity, because you're supposed to look at it and basically go nuts. Because it's unfathomable for the human mind. Uh, there is a grace down there. Okay, I'm glad I didn't miss that. How do I get back up afterwards, though? Mind riddling me that? Is it just over here? No, this is a side path, it seems. Okay, well, I'm not going to forget about that grace. Okay, somebody just died from all the fighting. But yeah, there is a hidden item over here. I guess. And what's this? Okay, there's look a little roof I can walk on. Yeah, you're the one I saw from... Oh, hey. You think you're very sneaky, don't you? Well, how do you like a sword in your back? Hey, you. Yeah, you. Stabbing the ground furiously. I don't know what the ground did to you. Well, it's probably the human body, not the ground. Probably pissed off at them. Uh, how do you get down there? Oh, that might be where the, um, where the grace I just saw leads to. That grace seems to be a drop of no return, so I'm kind of like, maybe I should walk to the other end of this bridge first before I follow that. The castles in this are massive. 
God, they're so big. Chonky castles. So let's see. Can I say... Yeah, see, there's a ladder here. And that does look like a dead end. So let's go this way first, and then we'll come back to the grace. Sounds like a good call to me. Oh, and there's also this, whatever this is. Um, oh, and I can... Wait, can I just jump this? Oh, I can. I might not be able to jump back, though. Can I call Torrent in here? I can't. Kind of scared that I won't be able to jump back. Sorry, I, I just don't want to miss anything. So let's just go up here and clear this out first. I'm, I'm fine on healing items, so... It'll, it'll work out. Get down here. Hey. No, get down here. Oh my god, fighting is so annoying. Okay, there we go. Huh. Well, that worked out. I was distracted by the stupid flying one. Really need a bow. It's times like this I wish I had enough strength to use that ballista thing that I got. Okay, bunch of fighting going on over here. Tons of gore. Okay, that's where I killed all those enemies. Yeah, they're fighting, like, inside here. Inside this building, right? They're, like, actually in the walls. Oh, hello! Well, I'm glad I came over here. Who are you? Your friend. I can tell by your relaxed posture. Uh, there's a face I've not seen before. I'm Edgar, warden of this castle, as ordained by Lord Godric himself. But you can see how things have turned out. Yeah, I killed him. The menials have all rebelled. They gave me good service, or so I thought. But it seems it was all an act. Foul creatures, as it said. And true enough, they're foul inside and out. I'm sorry to disappoint you. But whatever you come here to do, I'm afraid Castle Morn won't hold much longer. Take this by way of apology. Sacrificial twig. Ooh, that's useful. That's the item I could have bought from that one merchant. Deliver Irina's letter. Don't give the letter. Yeah, I see. No reason not to, right? You said you wanted it delivered over here. Mm. I mean, I'm imagining I want to go ahead and do this. She didn't seem like she in particular was doing anything wrong. Maybe I'm crazy. Let's deliver it. From Arena. Thank you. I mean, you're dead. But I can't leave yet. Even if the castle should fall, as commander, I must remain to ensure the treasured sword of Morn does not fall into the wrong hands. Treasured sword, you say? Treasured sword, you say? If you see Arena, do tell her that her father will come for her once he's fulfilled his duty. If you see her, her okay, father. so that's it for you. All right. Uh, well then, let's continue on our merry way. Then why don't we? I think there was still fighting down there, but once again, I uh, yeah, I came to this place, didn't I? But wasn't the door not open? Yeah, there, there's just like a wall there. I don't know. Maybe I'll get down there by going through this place. And we can jump over to the Grace now, and I think I may have enough to uh, level up. Right, right, right. And I don't think spawning the enemies back in is going to be a problem, since I'm going down a totally different path now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be dropping down here. Because all that was a dead end, basically. Alright, hit me with it. Lost Grace discovered. Um, 12,000. So the only thing that I don't like about the sacrificial twigs is it seems like you can't turn them on or off. Like, I would want them to turn on before, like, a boss run. It seems like it'll just activate whenever, right? Hmm. Or is it not in here? Um, let's use you guys. Yes. Um, and that gets me... I think I need to use one more of these. Boom. 400. Is that enough? Uh, oh, wow. Four runes short. 
If this wasn't a drop, I would not use this thing, but, uh, it's a drop. If only there was, like, a bird or something right here for me to kill. Oh, well. Boom. It's, like, a hundred, a few hundred souls that I'm basically, uh, getting extra, so it's not the biggest deal. So, 16 strength. Yes. Boom. Alright, we may have to switch our armor and stuff around here, so... Let's go ahead and put the Naginata on. Yeah, it does slightly less damage, but higher... Let's see. Let's look at uh, Rogier's weapon. 120 plus 66. Yeah, see, this is 171 plus 51. It doesn't swing quite as fast, but it has more range. And uh, that's pretty nice. Plus, it looks cool. That's the big thing. And it has a big long stab like that. I don't know, I like the sound of it. It seems really dope, so... Uh, let's go ahead and put the right Ash on it, so it'll do even more damage. So... Ashes of War. Um, I would like to put... The, the one I have on it, Determination, is already on my other thingy, but... If I put, like, Repeating Thrust on it, for example, maybe that wouldn't be the worst call. Or Glint Blade Phalanx. Sacred Blade, Golden Vow, Heating Thrust, Ground Slam. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. So it'll... Wait, does that actually make it do less damage? Let's see, 171 plus 51 to 152 plus 75. No, that is more damage. Barely. Okay, yeah, let's just put this on it. Yeah, the, the S-Dock, we can get rid of that. And we want it to be keen. There we go. Now we got a new, stronger weapon. It's not quite as fast as I've been over, but, uh... Hopefully that's not the biggest deal. I do have a slower roll now, so we're gonna have to... Shed some clothing. Oh, just the gloves. Okay, I can keep my dumb hat then. Alright, that's not that bad. Cool. So... Let's get down here and explore a little bit more this episode, why don't we? what else we can get into. Oh yeah, that's another thing I wanted to check. Um, where exactly is the sacrificial twig kept? It's not in key items. Is it like something you equip? I don't know, because it makes me think of... It is. Okay, cool. So you can control when you use it. You equip it as an item. Good, good, good. I'm also not on horseback really here, so what could I put on instead? Raises maximum HP. Uh, critical hits restore HP. That could be good for the enemies that we're fighting here. Uh, this gives me 40 extra HP, which isn't a lot. I'll take the stamina recovery. Seems like a good call to me, especially since we have a bigger weapon now, so... Alright, I can fall down there, and it does lead to an item. If I drop down here... That's a jump across there. I don't see anything hiding on that. Uh, never mind. I can fall down there. Hmm. I can just fast travel back to the Grace. So I'll drop for this, and then we'll... Okay, that was a stone sword key. And then we'll fast travel back to the grace. And we'll drop for that other thing. Because it looks like there's a little hole in that, like, grate that I can drop into, possibly. I do hope I'm happy with my Naginata. I spent some, some valuable, valuable strength points on it, so... It just looks cool, and I like the idea of it. Okay, yeah, see, this got me over here. There's, like, a spirit down there in a cage. Hello. Okay, and we two hit enemies now. Uh-huh. And you, I can make bleed. Which is useful. I missed. <laughs> I'm making the blob bleed. Yeah. There we are. Okay, and this does just lead down here. Cool. 
So I didn't even have to drop in here, it seems. The door was already open. Alright, what you got to say? Please help me, I'm of noble blood. If those hideous mongrels eat me, I'll be forever marred. Anything but that, please. Think of the disgrace. Wow, I really don't care about your plight, friend. <laughs> you could have just been like, please don't let the monsters eat me, and I probably would have been a little bit nicer to you, but specifically because you're like, I'm of noble blood. I really don't care. Alright, so... Blobs? You hiding anything back here? Nope. Just blobs. Okay, cool. So, what about over here? Nothing. Okay. Alright, let's get some uh, backstabs in here. Hello. Bye-bye. Anything down there? Doesn't look like it. Alright, just free backstabs all the way down. Um, I'm not going to bother killing you. You guys are a waste. Ooh. Ooh. Is this how I get down to this place? Yeah, because I saw this earlier and I was like, how do I get to that island? You must get it from the back end of the castle. And sure enough, here we are. Even sounds like there's a there's a goodie for me down here. Just checking all these edges to make sure there's not a better place to drop. This looks like my best spot. Would have been hilarious if I said that and then just fell to my death. Tarnished golden sunflower. Hello. I'm not really missing any of these, but thank you anyway. So, where to from here? This, I suppose? Yeah. Okay, so this is how you get down here to this thing. Oh, that's a boss door. Wait, is this the boss? Or is it a boss? Because there was another path up there, right? Well, now I'm- now I'm doubting myself. Now I'm doubting myself. Let's- let's go back over here. Was the- was the area up here the side path and this is the main path? Hmm. God. The ever-present quest of trying to find what's the intended path and what's the optional path in video games. Oh, that's why that little area exists. So if you fall down there, you're surrounded by the goops. Alright, friend. I thought I killed you. Oh, just traveling to the grace, not sitting? Actually, uh... I guess it counts as it is sitting, basically. Oh well. I'm fine. Yeah, see, this looks like this leads somewhere into the castle. Maybe this is an optional path. Uh-huh. I don't see any friends hanging out. Uh-huh. You got big swings. Yep, you swing all the way around. Ow. God, you have such big lumbering swings. Did I backstab you? Or, like, stun you? Jeez. Okay, whatever. We did it. I was trying to get a backstab there, but it wasn't working with me. Alright, so yeah, is this where I'm supposed to go for optional goodies? I was thinking the path down there was, but now I see the boss door. And this is just one tower, so... This may be the optional... area. Okay, I hear stuff in there. What is this? Twin blade talisman? What in the world does that mean? I think I might just be hearing enemy up there. Okay, what does Twin Blade Talisman do? I'm always down for new talismans, that's new options. Um, uh, Talisman. Enhances final hit of chain attacks. A talisman depicting a Twin Blade and a Confessor enhances the final hit ending a chain of attacks. Wow, that's hard to pull off though. I mean, not bad if you can stun the enemies, I guess, but absolutely useless against bosses. Swinblade technique is a tradition of the Confessors, who closely guard the secret of how they preserve the momentum of their attacks. Thus is the final strike of their onslaught all the more deadly. Probably useful to use if you're using a really, really fast weapon. Hence, Twinblade being listed as uh, the name of the talisman. Because those are pretty quick. So, yeah, that's probably what it intends you to use. That or, you know, like a dagger or some claws. 
Like, it'd be really useful for claws, I feel. I've always wanted to do, like, a claw build. But they just don't seem super good. Uh, I don't need to kill you. You can run away, it's fine. Bye-bye. Right? Nope, I did use a flask. Hey, you. Never mind. I lied. <laughs> Whoops. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm sure there's another Grace in front of the boss door down here. I forgot I used one against that big guy, I think. Alrighty, so back this way. Yeah, we got more jellies to deal with. And everything. What an absolutely desolate area. Okay, this is a jump where I'm going to need to fall on this beam. If I just do the full jump, I'm going to die. So, fall on beam. Oh god, I hate rafter platforming in Souls games. They love this shit. This is how Tarkus died, man. Tarkus the Great died the same way. Um, think right here. Yep, we're good. Okay, and there's a giant rat down here, as well as one of those guys. Oh my god, I missed. Is it me, or the falling, uh, plunging attacks seem worse? Oh yeah, and you can stab with your shield up with this thing. Awesome. Go. Stop it, you stupid rats. Let my stamina regen, okay? Hello. Bye-bye. Alright. Cool. A whip! Ah, finally the whip. Also a weapon that I've never found super good in any of the games. Although maybe I'm just using it incorrectly. Let's uh, check that out, why don't we? Whip, whip, whip. Um, Where are you at? There you are. A leather whip, not originally used for combat, but as an instrument of pain and kink. Though its supple attacks cannot be thwarted by parrying or even guarding, it is incapable of dealing crits. Okay, so enemies can't guard it. Yeah. Eh. I'm good. Its ability is kick. Which, why you even need kick when your attacks go through shields anyway is like, eh. I don't know. Secret wall? Oh yeah, that reminds me. I was supposed to, um... I was supposed to sign back into, uh, online. I completely forgot about that. I think I'd have to leave to go to the main menu to do that. Um, but, uh, basically the other day, PSN was down, actually. That was what was causing the issue, and I haven't restarted the game since then. So that's why we haven't had any messages today, either. I, j I just realized, randomly, I was like, oh yeah, we are missing messages, aren't we? Well then. Uh, slap these things around. There doesn't really seem to be much going on here besides the grace. Let's hit this up. I am happy with my new weapon. I like being able to stab from behind my shield. It makes some encounters much, much easier. Okay. Here we are. Let's go over here and see what's happening, why don't we? Yeah, there's a bunch of jellies down there. And there's the door. Hi. Okay, I can get a backstab on you, it's just kind of hard. Get out of there. There we go. Hey, you. None of that, please. Come here. Oh, you got me. Stupid grab. Die. 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 There we go. Okay, so I have to fight those guys on this boss run. That's annoying. Unless I... Eh, I can probably just drop off the bridge. Is this just gonna be a giant jellyfish? <clears throat> Is that going to be my boss of the zone? Big jellyfish. Yeah. Possibly. Your list... I can target you, but, um... Don't really know if you guys are gonna fight me or not. Hopefully this isn't a horde boss. Like the, uh... The one from... Oh, okay. Uh, hello, Mom. Uh, I just want this. Whatever it is. Fire arrows? Wow. Absolutely garbage. Uh, bye-bye. Sorry I disturbed you and your children. I will be on my way. Fire arrows, of all things. Yeah, is this gonna be a giant jellyfish? I'm thinking it was gonna be- I was thinking it was gonna be a horde boss. Like, um, what, what are they called? The Celestial Envoy? There's also the Deacons of the Deep. 
Living failures. That's the that's the horde boss in Bloodborne, which everybody memes about because they're like, "Hey, hey look, I'm a Bloodborne boss, living failure." <laughs> okay, so yeah, and Deacons of the Deep, I hated. All right, let's get in here. What's the deal? You look leonine, misbegotten. Uh huh. Okay, you jump multiple times. Good to know. Okay. You swing a lot. Gotcha. No? Ooh, I had my shield up. I had my shield up, I did. You're not gonna give me a lot of opportunities to heal, are you? Nope. Sure aren't. Oh my god, that long pause. Okay, now you're in pissed off mode? Oh my god! Please calm down. You don't have a lot of HP, but you don't stop. And you don't stop coming, and you don't stop coming. Please. Uh-huh. Oh my god. I'm just getting annihilated by this boss. Like I said, you don't even have a lot of HP. ding a -ling, ling Come in, friends! Yes, target them. Boom. Whale, my babies, whale! <laughs> Poke. Heal up, please. Uh huh. Nope. Oh. Poke. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Having uh, having friends for this definitely made this a little bit easier. Oh my god, the stupid gravestones! I hate debris in boss fights. <laughs> All right, you're boned. Yay, we did it! <laughs> I cheesed it with my friends here a little bit, but, uh, screw them. Leonine Misbegotten. Defeated. Grafted Blade Greatsword. So it's a bunch of different swords grafted onto one. Interesting. So is that the only boss here? Yeah, that would have been a lot harder if I was by myself, but damn it, summons are in the game, I'm gonna use them, and I'm not gonna feel bad about it. All right, so yeah, we're good. If they really wanted to keep the intended experience, they would have just disabled summons for some of these bosses, which I think I have heard that they do for some of the bosses. So it's whatever. Did it. Lost Grace discovered. And how much XP did I get? I of course don't want to rely on summons too much. I don't want to become overly reliant on them, so when I do hit some bosses that take away my ability to summon, I'm not just totally at a loss. I don't think I will be, though. Usually if I just bash my head against anything enough, then uh, it's not that bad. That boss just never let up. Those combos kept coming and kept coming. I could have definitely learned after a little bit of practice when exactly to dodge for every single one. Uh, okay, is that everything here? Or did I must have missed some stuff actually in Castle Morn because I never got to the parts where um, it looked like people were being attacked, right? Yeah. Hmm. How did I get to those places? This may have been an optional boss because the grace is leading me here and it's still leading me here. Which makes me think that uh, we're missing something. This is down here. This isn't where I want to go. Um, I just want to see if I can see the path forward really quickly. So behind the castle is where we actually want to go. Yeah, because I haven't actually been inside the castle yet. And I think that's where I want to get to. But I'm not sure how to go about doing it. I thought this path would, imme would uh, eventually lead me in here, but, uh, it has not. So I'm not sure what the deal with that is. Hey, guys. Yeah, that leads down there. Yeah, see, so you can hear a bunch of noise up there, but, eh. Alright, I need to get to a safe spot so I can teleport back. It currently is like, you're in combat with that slime. So I can't teleport out. Come on, de-aggro. 
Yeah, I'm thinking maybe I have to access um, the inside of the castle from here. I just heard that slime try to attack me, so I'm going to go ahead and teleport before it kicks me out. Hmm. Yeah, there must be somewhere here, some path that I missed somewhere that allows me to actually get into the castle proper. So I guess we'll tackle that next time. I like the progress we made this episode. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.